welcome back in the studio, everybody. Yay. And my first guest, our, our Planet Glee first guest of the year, is here in the studio. Do you believe it? Finally. Yay. Finally, we're able to do, you know, shows here. Not live, but so you can't call in. Unfortunately, the phone number is there. But uh, when we can start doing them again uh, live, you'll know. You'll know. I'll make sure everybody knows. But today, you you see an image, I think, up there of uh, Tupac Shakur. Um, and um, our guest today is Charles Grace uh, from the organization Black History Matters. So um, without further ado, I'm um, going to introduce you to Charles right here. Charles. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Planet Glee. Uh, nice, and thank you for having me, Jennifer. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Black History Matters, I think it's a very important organization. Yeah, well, it, the, the name of the organization is actually uh, Black History 400 and the New Generation. The and, one? Yeah, it's Black History 400 and the New Generation. It's it's a uh, project that we're working on, mm -hmm. you know, to... Uh, engage the young people and so far in the San Francisco Bay Area we, we want to take it take it a step further you know once we can uh, establish some ground here in San Francisco yeah so. now is this a, a website that you have Black History 400? well the webs we're working on the website right now but that is uh, that is the, uh, the title and, and uh, mm -hmm. we have our postcards it's it's all Black History 400 in the new generation. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah. Great. And uh, we have an image right there of Tupac Shakur um, and BLM underneath. Um, you uh, work also with a, a, an artist who, do, who makes these um, posters as well? Uh, yes. We, uh, we uh, have a amazing young brother that, that uh, do all the posters and banners and mm -hmm cards and whatever you know he, he volunteers a lot of his time and, and helps us out and you know and, and s most of it's out of pocket you know I, I uh, spend the little money that I come up with and mm -hmm. you know get things together yeah so basically yeah we you know got a good brother that's you know working with us on this here project and so without without uh, couple of the people behind the scenes that's doing some things, it, it just wouldn't be possible, like the shirts and all like that. So a lot of the time is donated to the organization, mm -hmm. you know, Brother Carlos, and working with the shirts and helping us out doing the shirts for us, so, cool. yeah. Now, um, you you and I met at, um, at one of your, what do you call it, a pop-up? Yeah, pop-ups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are those white... Yeah, the tents. big white pop ups, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, on Market Street, we did. Yeah, Market yeah. and Powell. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was one of our. That's one of our spots. We, we also have oh, one. Excuse me, <laughs> I look at the screen. Uh -huh. I can't see you. <laughs> oh, I disappeared. Over you. Um, let's see what happened oh, there. Okay. okay. Let's see All let's right. That one up. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so we we have. Uh, you know, pop-ups over the Bay Area, mm -hmm. uh, over San Francisco Bay Area, rather. You know, we want to take it further once we could get enough people involved and enough help. You know, help is is, is kind of hard to muster up these days because of the COVID. A lot of people are, are kind of standing off, you know, but things are starting yeah. to come back, and, you know, hopefully we, you know, get some people in that really uh, – have interest in you know what we're doing you know because I, I think uh, it's important you know it, it, it's not about selling shirts or nothing right. like that it's about keeping the African American image out there we talking 400 years yes. of black history right. you know and I don't believe that we can cram it all in in 28 days Agreed. so yeah. What a, my thing is, uh, Black History, three hundred and sixty-five days of the year. Mm -hmm. That's how we. That's how we roll it. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
because people are going to, they easily forget, you know, it says, because uh, right now we're supposed to be on Women's History Month, but, you know, that too is like one of those, well, Women's History, well, um, uh, which women are we going to talk about? Yeah. You know, and it, uh, it always, to me, it becomes always a, like a, all these women who are really successful. Yes. You know, these women who are making lots of money, these women who are in business and corporations and things like that and moving up the ladder and getting the same amount of money, that kind of stuff, I don't think it really speaks about women. Right. Do you find that in within black history there is also that bias that there has to be, so the, 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 the people we talk about are supposed to be people who have like achieved all this great income and et cetera. Or do you think it's actually people like Martin Luther King Jr. who work toward actually economic justice? Well, I, I you know, it's, it's always been said, uh, you know, uh, alongside of every successful man as a great woman True. that, that uh, you know, and that's, that comes all the way down, you know, through the through the uh, Christian experience that I've I've uh, came to understand that right. you know the woman came from the rib of the man, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> you know we so we yeah. talk about that so you know I I, I I like to think like with my wife you know she, she's right alongside of me mm -hmm. you know we together on this yeah. she, she, she's not uh, I'm not out front and she she you know yeah. some people say behind every right. successful man. Yes. You know, so I don't say behind, but I yeah. believe that, you know, the uh thing about you know, women is it's it's you know, it's just something that moves every man because we all had a mother. We all came from a mother. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Tupac talked about it. You know, sure. we we got every, we got uh a lot of game from our mother, and, uh, you know. So, you know it. You know it goes without saying. You know, the women are are highly respected, and and you know, but there's some that takes it, you know, take things to another level. So, you know, but that's politics, and I'm not. Yeah, you know, I hear you. I'm not one for that. I, you know, it's about it's about enjoyment, and enjoying your life, and uh, yeah. making sure that that we. Uh, we all have equal opportunity, you know, although we know that, you know, some things, the, the scale is kind of uh, unbalanced. But yes. at the same time, you know, Completely. if you if you just continue to drive and move forward, you know, I've been in San Francisco all my life, so, you know, I, I've, I've watched a lot, of, you know, over the decades, yeah. decades. I watched a lot of things change around San Francisco. You know, I've seen people come, I've seen people go. At the beginning of the year, uh, Democracy Now! for Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, um, they, uh, they televised two of his speeches. The one one year before he was, uh, he was murdered and mm -hmm. the one the night before. Mm -hmm. And um, I just love the fact that he, that the one, I forget which one it was, but um, he said that the society that flings a, a, a coin to a beggar, um, that's not really compassion. What's compassion is a society that does not have a beggar. Wow. So, I mean, and that's Planet Glee for you. In a nutshell, Planet Glee is for economic justice, racial justice, justice of I, for ideas. You know what I mean? My little, my little blurb there. But, um, Charles, can you just tell us where your, um, your pop-ups are? Our, our pop-ups are, we have one on Market Street. We have one in the Bayview at 3rd and Palu. And then there's one on the side of the Heritage Center on Fillmore, 1390 Fillmore. Okay. And we, we're kind of moving around. And, and uh, you know, like I said, you know, the... Uh, Harvest is plenty, but the labor is a few. So once we could get a few more men involved and more women, people in general, to come in and help us, you know, we could 
began to uh, get some things done and 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 get more uh, uh, pop-ups around the city and maybe across the bay, you know, and whatever. So uh, it's just a matter of, you know, get keeping, you know, everything going mm -hmm. and getting the support, you know. That's, yeah. So that's why I'm kind of, you know, I'm here and I'm working with another uh, uh, brother and his his organization, they're going to come in and help us put the infrastructure to the, like I said, you know, it's just, you know, I built the car, yeah. but now we got to put the engine to make it go. So, sure. yeah. Yeah, drivers. Yeah, so we need, we need, we need people to come in that can, uh, you know, do a lot of things uh, in the tech world, you know, that that's up to date with, you know, the modern world, you know, Cause I'm still sort of like snail mail, you know. <laughs> I'm just get. I'm still uh, getting there with the hearts and buggy, but you know, <laughs> I'm getting there. So yeah. you know, so soon as uh, people recognize, you know, what we're doing and what it is that uh, that they can do to help us, yeah. you know, feel free to come on in and you know and uh, give us a call, you know. And uh, now, what days are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm on Pilot Market. I try to be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. And then Sunday we have a pop-up out by the DMV on Oak and Baker. Oh, okay. Right, they have a little farmer's market in the DMV. Oh, I didn't know that. And then, uh, okay. so we're there on the corner on Sundays. Yeah, so That's my wife's that. little spot, Ashley. Oh, okay. she's, she's there. She's, she's okay. excited about... Ashley. Yeah, she's excited be about the plan, and you know she's giving me a lot of support. And yeah. you know we have a couple of small kids, so it's kind of, you know, it, it, it's tough. But then now my son came, and he's he's living with us, and he he's seventeen, so he's able to stay and help us with the kids while we go out and nice. do what we have to do. So, but you're yeah. also looking to uh, to get help from the youth and, and um, to uh, to maybe help them um, partake in, in, in communicating with other people. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing is is that, uh, you know, like I said, we're talking about 400 years of black history. So we have a lot of work to do here, you know, to uh, continue to spread the word and, yeah. and, and get out the message about our black leaders and, and, and people that, that uh, blazed trails before us. And, you know, and, and I think it's important that, you know, we, we get the young people to understand that, you know, there was some great people that came through here that made it possible for us to be in the space that we're in today, you know, with the civil rights movement. And then now, the Black Life Movement come through, you know, and so, and then with this, with the Black History 400 and the New Generation, you know, we look at to uh, add to all the, the things that already been laid out. So it's really easy for us, mm -hmm. for me right now. It's it's easy, you know, by saying, okay, Dr. King. He done some things yeah. here and blah blah blah. We, Panther. And Panthers and we, we put it on we put the images on his shirt. Mm -hmm. It's a win win situation. The kids uh, uh, get an opportunity to learn about their heritage and their ancestors and people that came before them. And I think it's important. You know, so Absolutely. so that's that's what it's all about. It's not just uh selling t-shirts we you know but at the same time we it's it's a win-win situation because it it's also an entrepreneurship we're building an entrepreneurship program to uh teach uh the youth in san francisco and the bay area to uh put images on the shirts and market it you know distribute it and we ask for a donation you know, we asked in a $15 donation for the shirts, you know, 
And so, uh, you know, that's how we going to be able to keep the program going. And it gives us an opportunity to uh, engage and bond with the kids because a lot of the young people, they they really uh, crying out for help. But, you know, the Bible says if you give a man a, po- a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you give him a pole, he'll eat for a lifetime. So this is this is what we're looking to do is – you know, put a few poles in the young people's hand by giving them an opportunity to learn a trade and learn how to go into business, market it, and 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 deal with you know uh, the politics of uh, all the things that need to be done to to build you know to build a business. So right. so that's what we're looking for. Yeah, and I I don't want everybody to think that Planet B is anti-business or. And not at all, but um, but Planet B is anti uh, corporations that don't pay taxes, that try to uh, meddle in people's lives um, with uh, you know without remorse and things like that. And yeah, but Planet B is definitely for small business and well, even successful. Uh, 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 just giving students and kids a. a, a um, a purpose um, beyond their school yeah, yeah. And, or their sports or whatever they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's important to, uh, you know, acknowledge that, you know, uh, just because you don't have a lot of money and yes. you can't just jump out there. You wasn't born with a silver spoon, right. you know, and that you have to kind of build from the ground up. Mm-hmm. And, and it makes it harder, you know, and that's, that's what we're – about too is trying to get away from uh, having to go through a lot of uh, red tape mm-hmm. just to get a business off the ground and, sure. and being, you know, the politics uh, of things, you know, that right. stops people from being a part of society, you know, mm-hmm. and that and that and that's one of the things that I believe. Uh, a lot of the big corporations are missing out on yes. not being able to bring a small uh, 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 organization or business in the community to the table. To share, you know, to yeah. share, to share, and then then they always they always saying, "Oh, yeah, we want to uh, get out into the community. Where well, where you at? Where are you? You know, yeah. you you talk a good game, but you not not really showing, you know." Uh, Good faith in in what in what you right. all about, good you know. Faith. Hello. Yeah, good faith. We haven't heard that, you know. We don't hear that right. phrase. Good faith. You know, good faith just means trust and right. It goes a long way. Caring. Huh? Yeah. Um, Caring. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you know, it goes a long ways. I mean, this is just one of the things. You know. Yeah. I mean, you you can't keep continuing to uh, keep. The grassroots community. Yeah. I think you saw one of my signs, and and and, it's, and it reads that, uh, you know, Black Life. So, yes. what is Black Life? So, when we talk about Black Life, and we talk about how we can help yes. the grassroots community and people that's out there waving the signs and hollering about Black Life. So, what is this Black Life that we're talking about? Mm-hmm. You know, because I live in the inner city where the struggle is real. But the conversation never gets trickled down to the community. But there's always people that's talking about what they could do and how they can help. I think you know. there are people who are doing it. The thing is that we don't see them as much as we see the people, I mean, in the media, who are, who are um, in the media's eyes, uh, you know, sabotaging movement. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I think that like the media is the mainstream media is not really showing what you know uh, the the people who are making a difference in the community. Oh, of course, of course. I I've, I've reached out to uh, Channel Five many a times, and they they say better together. I've sent them an email, said, "Hey, better together. Why don't you come out and take a look at what we're doing." We have a, a little pop-up down here, and 
we excited about being a part of this better together thing that you talk about. They haven't came yet, and I and I, I've seen, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of these little segments on Better Together, and I don't see people that look like me, and it kind of it, it it angers me, and I, you know, so, you know. When you're out there, how long have you been doing it, though? How long I've been in this, this particular project? This project, uh, I actually started the Black History Matter several years ago, and uh, then the Black Life Movement came through, mm -hmm. and then I start doing a few Black Life shirts because the people were uh, more uh, taken to the Black Life Movement, and so people were buying, you know, uh, donating and get and purchasing the uh, Black Life shirts. You know, so so it enhanced my Black History shirts, and it started, and so I merged it together, and it started, you know, moving pretty good. And you know, like I said, you know, it, it it's it's been, uh, you know, since since everything kind of shut down, you know, it's been a, 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 a exciting to be able to 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 even put in any kind of work, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And so I mean, it's not a, like I said, it's not a lot of money, but you know, God have placed up on my heart and given me a lot of great ideas about, you know, uh, how I can make a difference in my community by connecting with the youth in the community and empowering and engaging them in the business, you know. Yeah, and I think, I don't know about you, but yeah. I um, am so happy that, oh, there it is, okay. Mm -hmm. I took it, uh, the picture of it, and, right? Um, because it's like, is he gone yet? You know, right, are right. we free? Are we right. free from this, right. this media, you know, bombardment of mm -hmm. a person who represents everything that is anti-person? Right, it's right. It's not. It, it, white people think that, or at least certain white people think that he's for them. He's not for them. He's only right. for himself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but anyway, I, I love this poster. Yeah, I, I it it was just uh, one of the posters that I have out there. Just you know, I like I said, a lot of uh, the posters that I have, and it talks about certain things, like the sixteen nineteen poster. Oh, yeah. But this this po particular poster, it 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 it, uh, it catches a lot of people's eye, and it and it stops a lot of people. They stop and laugh. And then I'm, I'm, common, yeah, I'm know. able, I'm able to engage in a conversation with people when they stop, you know, because a lot of people just go by, yeah. you know, and you would think a lot of African American people would stop and really, you know, say, hey, what's going on here, you yeah. know, because you don't see this stuff like this, I know, it just everywhere, you know, yeah. and and but I don't get a lot of people, a lot of. Uh, people not of color you know stop and ask more questions you know because they they want to they want to be educated and that's what this is about mm -hmm. this is about educating the people is a lot of people don't like like one of the signs that talk about the uh uh the uh black wall street mm -hmm. and in 1920 okay. when they they burnt down all the storefronts down in uh through these Tulsa, Oklahoma, yeah, and and yeah, and yeah. so so the uh, you know, a lot of people, oh, I never knew that, you know, a lot of white it people, a TV. lot of yeah, but, I actually watched it. I yeah. didn't actually watch TV, but yeah. I saw yeah. Seven had yeah. some stuff on there. Yeah, it was brutal. It, 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 it was pretty brutal, yeah. and then so so you know. That's that's the one of the things. So I'm I'm starting off with the soft side of Black history, mm -hmm. and then once I can get myself established, you know, I I want to make sure that some images 
that you know that needs that needs to be seen. You know, like Emmett Till sitting on the ground with with a hole in his head where you could see straight to when his mother came. She looked and saw her son, and his head was open so she could see the other side of the concrete. Wow. You know, so so that's those these images are out there, and yeah. and, and and so I believe that through this uh, the Black History 400 project, I believe that we uh, be able to get all these stories not only out into the mainstream, but our kids need to know a lot of this stuff, you know? Because yeah. we, we we saw the man put his knee on George Floyd's neck. Yeah. I shouldn't say the man that, the, uh, I, I, I mean, watch my tongue, but I just wanted to say something different. But mm -hmm. this guy, he put his knee on this man's neck and told him, just be still, just lay there while he was put taking him out. He just says, be still, lay there. And he killed this man in front of the world. You know, he took this black man, he, he held him to the ground, put his knee on his neck, and to the man said, yeah. Mama, I can't breathe. And then he he told the man, he said, just lay there, lay there, be still. He didn't sound like, lay there, we're gonna get you an ambulance, we're gonna yeah. get you up in a minute. Yeah. He was pronouncing the man dead, he said, just lay there, just right. be still. I'm killing you. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. It was brutal, you know. And so, so, you know, that's And you have been, Brianna. You have yeah, Brianna, Brianna Taylor. Taylor. It's a lot. It's a, you have, like, yeah. These images that play in my head and, you know, and, and, and then we, we look at, you know, uh, why things are the way it is. And then, you know, that's why, like with the Tupac shirt, you know. Yeah, I love that one. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. And the kids you know? really can relate to him. Yeah, yeah. Really well, because they relate to his music. For sure. And um, his, his demeanor and his intelligence. Right. And that's what I just want to talk just briefly about the Black Panther movement. Most of us was. I was in part of the Black Panthers when I was a kid. Really? What just did you sell, do? selling newspapers and... And we used to march in, in Oakland? You know, no, okay. San Francisco, in, in Hunters Point. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. They had a they had a house down on Northridge Road, and they would uh, march, and we would be behind them. And then after after we did that, we we would go up and down Third Street selling the Black Panther newspaper to bring money back for the uh, breakfast. They they used to feed the kids, and so the Black Panthers done a lot of great things, you know, and. Uh, they were intelligent. Yeah. Hello. I mean, in the in the movie, apparently they're just you know the right, right. Um, the the I can't remember the name of the movie. I now. I haven't got the Black Messiah. I believe. Yeah. It's, yeah. I haven't got a chance to see it. Uh, but I've seen yeah. a review of uh -huh. it on yeah. YouTube. Right, um, right. By Lee Camp of um, Redacted Tonight and um, and uh, Moment of Clarity, uh, he was saying that um, the Black Panthers are just shown were carrying bombs, not carrying books, not carrying newspapers. They were all literate. Hello. Right. They were trying to bring literacy to the community, right. which the educational system had failed at doing. Right. Right. You know, and um, so, yeah. yeah. The movie, yeah. because Hollywood does not want to valorize the Black Panthers. They're showing them. They're not really valorizing them or celebrating them in any way. Right, right. You know? right. And I've worn this T-shirt in the community. Right. And um, I, I get, I've gotten looks, but right. only from black people. They look, they look at me. Oh, oh that's a T-shirt. Yeah. But they don't say anything. But right. Because we don't know each other. But you know. Yeah. Yeah. It it's an image that I think, uh, it's beautiful. I love that image. Yeah. yeah. That T-shirt. Yeah. You know, you're doing some really really good work. And, um, we're at 34 minutes. Um, so we're going to have to say goodbye. Yeah.